Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another fun Friday floss tube weekly update with me. I am Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. So check me out over there as well. And this is a video about cross stitch from my channel about cross stitch. And I do talk about some other things as well, but predominantly about the Hobby O cross stitch. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today is Friday, July the 10th, 2020. And this is floss tube number 60. 60, what? How'd we get here? How'd we get to 60? I don't know. Must have slept through some of them because I don't know how we got here, but I'm super stoked to be here with you this evening. And I hope you're having some great stitchy time. Maybe you're stitching along with my video, which is awesome. I have some projects to share with you that I worked on this week. I have some stash to share. I have some plans to talk about and some other fun stuff to do. So I hope everybody's had a great week. We are here on Friday yet again. Um, we had a great week. We, um, let's see, what have we done this week? We've been to the swimming pool. Um, we belong to a private club who is practicing awesome measures to kind of um, cut down on the possibility of transferring the virus that's um, COVID. And um, so we've been going to the pool, which has been nice because it has been hot, 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 hot. Um, we are in the season of me doing videos and telling you it's like 100 degrees outside, such as summer in Texas. Um, I am from Texas, born and raised, and I currently live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, specifically Fort Worth. And um, so, yeah, welcome to everybody who is new. I've gotten a few new subscribers. I've seen a few of you pop up new on my um, Instagram as well. So thanks for hanging out with me over there. I am doing significantly better so far with uh, the posting of the photos this month. And so hopefully that will continue. June was questionable. Okay, it was just plain pitiful. Um, so my hope is that July is better and I can continue because I like to see, I like to go back and look at what I worked on. And if I post nothing, and I really didn't even take that many pictures in June. I posted the pictures I took, so that's even more sad. Um, so other than swimming, we have been working on some projects around the house. We have been, uh, Joyful Little One has been reading up a storm. She started a new cross stitch, and I will show th show that to you here in a moment. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for everybody to be here this evening. If you are returning, a returning viewer, a returning floss tube friend, welcome back. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on another Friday evening, Saturday day, Sunday, whenever you catch up with this. I am getting slowly but surely caught up. My Stitchy Time playlist has currently 60 videos on it. I've cut that down in half. I basically just like let it run while I'm doing other things with my wireless earbuds in. So I may not see everybody's projects, but I can hear them talking and they keep me company. And so that's awesome. So like I said, we are going to share some stuff I worked on this week. Some things I started this week because the wheel, the wheel has done me wrong. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a moment. And... Like I said, I've got new starts, whips, a finish, a finish, stash, plans, and yeah. So, first, let me say, a couple of you um, reached out to me and shared about uh, specific things to help with the ring being so loose situation. Um, specifically, there are a couple people that mentioned ring guards I could on Amazon. Some of you even linked them, which was fantastic. I have done nothing about that. Um, it's not like I don't order from Amazon. In fact, I had a box come today with a 64 ounce water bottle because I need to be more accountable to myself drinking water, especially when I'm going swimming and it's a salt water pool. I find that I like feel more like thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. 
This is water. It's cold water, too. I like my water with lots of ice. Um, so I got a big old, I mean, it's huge, but it's so cute because it's like turquoise, pink, and purple, like mermaidy, like ombre. Ombre. Um, and they call it sorbet. So we're going to see if I like it. Um, I am kind of a diehard Yeti fan, but I could not bring myself to buy a 64 ounce Yeti. Plus, they don't come in fun colors. I like my colorful Yetis. So I'm going to try this one out. If I like it, I might share it. And because sometimes I share things that are not specific to cross stitch and then you can go buy it if you're interested. They had in a lot of patterns. They had like a marble print. They had a rose gold. They had all kinds of cool stuff. So I realized two pieces of my stash are over there. So at some point I'm going to have to either get up or pause. Pause being probably the more realistic choice. So I think what I'll do first is show you Joy Filled Little One's progress on her new started cross stitch. Now I will say this. A couple of you asked if she could show it. I've mentioned previously in my in my videos. Now, granted, if you are new, you may or newer, you may not have heard my spiel. I do not typically refer to her by name, and I also typically do not not typically she will not be in my videos until she is of an age where I feel comfortable with her, her being part of my videos, and or she's of an age where she can consent to being in my videos. Um, that is not to say that people who have their kids in their videos, that that's, a, that, that that's them. As her mom, it's my decision whether she is out in the YouTube world or not. Um, I'm not comfortable with it. And um, I'm of an age <laughs> where I can decide that for myself. It would not be right for me to put her in a position of being on video at eight and a half when maybe in the future she doesn't want that out in the world. I don't know why she wouldn't because I'm truly awesome. Um, but what's out there is out there. And so it is my choice to, again, not refer to her by name and um, to kind of keep her away from this. And that is, that is something that um, my husband and I have spoken about um, for, sa for safety, for, for lots of reasons. Namely because I think it should be her choice as a qualified person to make that choice, not at eight and a half, because every eight and a half year old wants to be a YouTube star. I very rarely even let her watch YouTube because of ad content. If she's watching it, it's through mine, which I have premium. I pay every month to not have ads. Um, and that makes me a little more comfortable. However, that is just how it is. So I will gladly share her what she works on, the art she creates, her cross stitch, but she will not be making an appearance anytime soon. So to those of you that have requested that, I'm sorry, but no. I have to kind of put my foot down about that. So she, we went through all my patterns and I have, I have some, a video where I did a stash dive and a pattern dive. I call them stash adventures. Um, and those were before mania. So you can go, I think they're in my mania playlist, um, where I went through a lot of my charts, but some of those, I don't think this one was in there because I think I got this one during that month. Um, I saw... Kim Hollenbach, she is Spartan Stitcher, but she's her YouTube channel is Kim Hollenbach. I link everything below in the description box. She had shown this, I think it was a commission piece that somebody had asked her to do as like a birth sampler and put the child's name in, in where it says zoo animals. And so I love the chart. My child is obsessed with all animals. She is an animal lover. She has a bajillion stuffed animals. Like she takes pride in finding the ones that seem to be like shoved back in the the corner like the the desperate stuffed animals in fact she got another one yesterday and she called to tell me about it because she was with my mom and she said well we picked this one because it was just shoved in with the other ones and it just had the saddest look on her face she's just so precious her heart is made of gold um and she connects with animals 
And so when she saw this chart, she said yes. And I was like, okay. Because my initial thought was, okay, your first chart was like 30 by 30 and it was four colors and it was all color blocked. And she was like, no, I want to do that pattern. And I know for myself that I only work on things that I want to work on. So she has been whole hog into this project because she loves it. Now, so her first project was on 11 count. She was going to do some fat, some of the stitch cards that you can get from Fat Quarter Shop. She was not feeling the love on those. And so she did not progress on them. She didn't even really, I think she put four stitches in. And that was on 14 count white Ada. And she was doing okay with that. Well, we were going through my drawers and I had some 11 count, but I didn't have enough because this is significantly larger than her first one. And she came across my 16 and 18 count Adas. I don't have very many 16 counts. Um, I like the count, I just don't have very much. And found one and it's a color in cotton and she's hooked. And I think I said this already, she's coming for my 18 count, I already know it. She's coming. It's okay, I have enough, I have a lot. So, anywho. Long story short, she decided to start the Trilogy Zoo lineup. Now, she is making some changes. She comes down a, 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 from the stitchery line of convert the things. So, some of the changes she's made. Now, granted, a lot of it was because I didn't necessarily have the colors, the DMC. So, we pulled some things that were close. Um, so, we didn't really like the colors that were pulled for the alligator, so we swapped those out a little bit. The border's hot pink, because the border's hot pink. We, I didn't necessarily, and she really agreed, the color that was called for on this hippo was more gray. It was a lot of gray. And so, we ended up pulling um, a bluish gray. So, the hippo's going to be kind of a little bit blue. Um... And there's a few other change-ups in there, but she is super excited. She um, she was really struggling with the border. And so I made a deal with her that I would help her with the border. So I stitched the top and side border and I was starting to stitch this border. And she saw where I was just, because it's DMC, I was just doing the top leg and then every 10th stitch, 10th stitch, I would do a full X and it was making it easier to count the 88 stitches and she went, I can totally do that. So she took over only about 10 stitches in and stitched the rest of these borders and she has stitched this little bit of ground that's under the alligators. I'm gonna show you, so I don't know why I'm explaining it. And then she's decided that instead of zoo animals, she wants it to say, be happy with hearts. So I recharted that for her. Hers lives in this so much to love project bag that I picked out for her. It's got unicorns on it. We love everything pink and unicorny in our house. And she's stitching this on 16 count color and cotton in sea breeze, which was a fabric of the month at some point, way back when, when I got 16 count. And I am so pumped for her project progress. Mind you, she is now um, stitching on an eight by 11 case now. She's like way bumped up in this, but I am so proud of her. So she has one whole alligator except for the eye and a lot more of the other alligator. She has the whole border and I adore this. Um, I had wanted to stitch this for her. I think it's kind of cool that we're kind of working through this together. Now I, um, I do still thread her needle for her and I um, weave her flosses in. I manage any issues where like we might get a tangle or a snag or a knot or something like that but other than that she's doing the counting and doing the stitching um and i'm super pumped for her and she's doing fantastically well she's enjoying it she said mommy i'm getting to be like a good stitcher like you and i said you are like she's blowing me out of the water when i started at 16. now i will say this to maybe toot my own horn a tiny bit i know more now than even I think my aunt knew when she taught me when I was 16. And so I'm teaching her the things that I've relearned since coming back to cross stitch. So that's I think why she's just significantly better. I'm gonna pause for just a second so I can grab my other stash, put that away and get all the whips and stuff ready. So hold tight one second. Okay, so now that you've seen the best stitching of the week, which was Joyfield Little Ones, um, 
think I'll show you my stitching. So, first thing I want to show you, and these are in really no particular order after this first one. Okay, so I am in the middle of, well, not even the middle yet. It feels like the middle. It feels like July's already been really long. I'm in the first third of hashtag jolly joy filled whip you lie. So I am working through my um, Christmas whips, which I had quite a, a number of them, as well as some new starts to equal 31 projects ish and the ish is because I've had some new starts that snuck in that are not even jolly filled more on that later so one of the ones that it was a whip um so the wheel did not was playing favorites on new starts I had so the first second third and fourth not the first excuse me the first was Mary Sampler because it was its birthday the second, third, fourth, and fifth, so four days in a row, I had a new start spin on my wheel. It was playing major favorites. Here was my concern with that. I really intended for the it to be more equitable because they were about half and half. Um, there were more whips than new starts. I didn't want to get burnt out on all the new starts in the beginning. Not burnt out, but like, get all of those exciting new projects and then be like, I'm going to want to work on my whips. So I kind of wanted it to be more like a give and a take. So what did I do? I said on the whip and new start wheel who clearly only wants new starts. And I'm going to, I'm going to spin the whip wheel for four days to even up the playing field. So I spun, um, so the sixth, seventh, eighth and ninth were all whips. And then I spun for today, and that dang wheel spun a new start again. <laughs> I'm like, what in the heck? So, I don't know. So, one of the whips that it spun was Plum Street Samplers, Noah's Christmas Ark, Noah's Giraffes. Um, I am stitching this entire series for my mom as Christmas ornaments. Um, I gave her two last year, the Crocodiles and the Welcome Mat, which is a freebie on the website. And I'm working through giraffes and then doves. And I started doves, and I believe I showed it in my video last week. I started doves. So I pulled, this was yesterday's, and I pulled it out, and all I had left to do on this was the border. And now I've decided I'm not stitching the borders. I don't want the borders on there. So it's done. Um... So, this is on an 18 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics. It's a mystery die. And there it is. It's finished. So, what I did was when I looked at it, I went, I don't want to, I don't, I, one, don't want to stitch the border. And then two, I was like, hmm, because it's a, it's a dark brown. Do I want the border on there? And my answer to that question was no. So, I did the border. It's kind of like the random series. The first two I stitched on 36 count. So I'm doing 18. So they're the same size roughly. And I say roughly because the first one had both the one, one row border and the checkerboard border. The second one only had the dark border, not the checkerboard border. This one's not going to have any border, as are the rest. And I really don't love my finishes from last year, like my fully finishes. So I'm tempted to go take them and redo them for my mom. We'll see. You live and learn. So this lives, this whole series is going to live in this Be Crafty bags with this really super cute fabric. I actually sent this to her to make this vinyl front bag. This was way long ago. I think they're on Facebook. I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, that was a finish, which was nice. Um, I had said that if I finished it, I would start honeybees or bees. Um, and I've decided I'm going to give her two this year. And then I will reassess next year. I've got too many other things in the fire and other projects. So, let me get my notes. Let's start with what was my, what did the wheels spin for the fourth? The wheel spun for the fourth, and I think I showed this on my video, and I was really excited about it, especially since one of my awesome floss tube friends had suggested when I was showing this in the um, 
when I was showing all of my starts and my whips and all of that, like in my special edition video, um, I had said I wanted to stitch this one, but I didn't want it to say cranberry, and I was just going to squish out cranberry and just do Christmas with the cool scene up above and the scene below. And they said, well, you know, why not stitch joy-filled? Same number of letters. And I was like, uh, genius, genius, genius. So, um, I had decided to do that after reading that comment and then it spun it on Friday night's video and I was like, oh, I haven't charted it yet. So I had not actually charted the, um, joy filled part. So Saturday morning, that's what I did. I charted it. Um, and I actually was going to be stitching this on a like 18 count kind of a natural color. Well, I put in the first stitches of the sulky. I'm stitching in the sulky and I was working in this color, which is kind of like an ecru and off white a 3865 kind of a color it didn't show up so I was like whoop I gotta go find some other fabric so I pulled out 18 count Ada from color and cotton and tombstone that was from the Halloween mystery harvest mystery box last year um, and I had another project going on this but I abandoned that and so it's been in my drawer of stash and I was like let's pull it so I have, I started center and I worked on the end of Christmas. Well, hello Potter, it's our dog. And I put in filled. So it's gonna say joy filled Christmas. And then each of these letters has um, like a, a light green shadow to it. Um, so I think it'll pop even more, but I love it. I love it. And thank you so much for the suggestion because I think it's gonna turn out super cute. And that stitched up incredibly fast. Oh, this is by Hands On Design. And it's Cranberry Christmas. And it has a sulky set that's um, specifically sold for this chart. Um, and I, I love the sulky on the 18 count. So I had zero, zero problems. Now the fourth also brought a patriotic start. Um, and I had mentioned this in my last video that the Zoom group that I participate in decided to start this project as land that I love, Zoom Sal. And um, this lives in my newest Garon Toten bag. This was the July bag of the month. And this is Teresa Kogut's newest sampler, land that I love. And I started here in the center. And I am stitching it in um, the called for DMC and Fancy Flosses. And this is actually on a 20 count Ada by dying for cross stitch she's on facebook and i got a fairly decent start and i love it i am stitching this um one over one and i adore it so this is what i got so far i got the start of some of the little strawberries the start of this like diamond shaped tree i love how delicate the stitches are 20 count ada might be my new fave 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 um so i'm i'm just really uh, loving this my only thing is, Brandy, stitch me. I know you don't watch this, but can you start carrying 20 count Ada, please? And thank you. Not everybody carries 20 count Ada. She carries 22 count, but I don't really like 22 count for the same reason I like. I like the tininess of it, but 22 count is uh, at least the ones I've stitched on have a warp and a weft. And so you run the risk of losing your floss to the next stitch over. So I like 20 count Ada because then you don't have that same problem. Oh, and by the way, my um, tropical smoothie was delivered. I get a green smoothie. That joy filled little one will actually drink. It's so good. It's like mango, pineapple, kale, which I normally would say kale no. Um, spinach banana it's no extra sweeteners and then I add whey protein to it two thumbs up for me okay so then the fifth the wheel spun another new start but it's okay this is a gonna be a Christmas well it's gonna be maybe stuck in this bag Cutting this bag open. Good gravy, Amazon bag. 
What has happened to you? Oh, the zipper's all janky. Okay, hold on. We're about to go ruthless on this. The only problem is my only scissors I have are kinkers. And those only cut fabric and floss. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, this bag's going in the trash because I literally just had to rip it open. Oh, now it's maybe going to work. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Superhuman girl strength. That's what my brother used to tell me I had. Anyway, this janky project bag holds Plum Street Samplers Clementine. I am stitching this for my sister-in-law. She loves cats. It's so adorable. Um, I'm stitching this in the called for or close because I didn't have all of them. And this is on an 18 count, 18 count what? Oh, 18 count Heartland from Picture This Plus. And I have the beginning of M Little Miss Clementine. So loving it. Super fun stitch. Um, I don't know how I'll finish this yet. I'm thinking like a little, um, kind of like a mug rug because she loves, now my thought was to do like a mug rug because she loves like a cup of coffee, but then I was thinking, uh oh, what if she spills? So I don't know how that's gonna get finished yet. I might because she is a cross stitcher as well. I might make her a project bag. That's probably what I'll end up doing. All right, so then the fifth brought an impromptu start. I will share more on that later. And this lives in one of my new Amazon pouches. Thank you to all of you who um, left me an awesome comment about week. Um, what happened in your week, good, bad, or indifferent. And I will do a little random comment picker here in a minute for that. Um, so this, I was enabled by Instagram. Um, and specifically the folks that have started one of Carolyn Manning's Shooting Star charts and I've been obsessed with Carolyn Manning stuff have never started anything and I saw this one and went yes gotta buy it plus I had heard I don't remember who I was watching that said that she was having a okay let me think who was it that said that they had hmm, I don't know why I feel like it was Creativity by Gidge. I'm not sure. That might be wrong. But anyway, whoever I was watching shared that they were enabled and that these were, that she was having a sale. I don't know if the sale is still on. I will link her uh, website below. But I am starting Opal from the Shooting Star Collection. Opal is my birthstone. I am an October baby. Um, and so I loved the colors in this. Um, such a pretty palette like look at this love love those colors and I am stitching this on um this is actually a uh my first Jobelin this was a 32 count or this is a 32 count Jobelin from Be Stitch Me and Through the Stones I had won this in a giveaway and it ended up being like the perfect size and so I went yep gonna try it out and I'm trying to find my top left because I actually wrote top left because it's such a repeating pattern. I wanted to not have to go, okay, which way is my stitches up? And so I did get a fairly little decent start on this and it is so fun. So fun and I love the colors on it. Um, more about Carolyn Manning and what else I bought in the stash portion of this video. And guess what? When I got up, I didn't grab the other stash items. It's going to be one of those videos. So apologies in advance for the um, haphazardness of this video. All right, so then the sixth, yeah, that was the last new start until today. More on that to come. Um, I worked um, just through some other projects. So I did put some more time into Joyful Scene. This is by Teresa Kogan. And I am stitching this on 28 Count Lugana and Granite from Be Stitch Me. I am not stitching the Santa. I am just stitching the animals and the word joy. And I finished the sheep and put in the black and the white of the bird. It has another color that's crisscrossed in here. 
um, or checkerboarded in there. And so, so fun. So cute. I love this fabric too. The white really pops on it, but it's a lighter color, but the white still pops. And I love that. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed putting some more time into this one. This was a new start last week. Um, next up, what is in here? Let's see. Okay, this was one that the wheel spun when I went to my whip wheel. It is technically a new start, and that's okay. It still was in my whip wheel because it was a whip at some point. I don't know. I, I make up my own rules as I go along. This is from Madame Chantilly. This is Celebrate Christmas. It is one of her tier trays. I am doing a tier trade stitch along with um, Debbie at Creatively Yours. It's hashtag MC tier tray south. She's doing the Halloween one. I am doing Christmas. And I am stitching this on, where's my card? Here we go. Seraphim Fabrics, um, 32 count Lugana and May Day. And this was a find from a stash and load. And I, same floss as I was using before, I just picked a new fabric and I stitched the Santa sack and the Santa body. So I did a center start and I'm right here. I mean, clearly I had to stitch this because it's Christmas. It's adorable. It's got all kind of my favorite things of Christmas. And Joy. It says Joy. On the Ray Dunn style mug. Yes. So, love it. I love this Seraphim. This uh, Lugana. It's beautiful. Um, like I said, I got this on Stash Unload. But I think they have a website that you can order from. So, go check that out. My hair is getting poofier and poofier as this video goes along. Oh, so much to love project bag. All right, moving right along. This one actually holds two of the projects that the wheel spent. It holds four in total. So you'll see this bag again. This is the Be Crafty Bags again. This is fabric I sent to her to make, including the mustard polka dots. And this holds two projects that the wheel chose. Ziploc baggies. For the win. First up is uh, Brenda Gervais. This is with Thy Needle and Thread. Mary Holly Berries. He is the cutest little Santa and just adorable. An adorable little piece. I'm stitching this on 36 count linen in Mello, M E L L O, by Picture This Plus. And I put a fairly decent amount of stitches into this. Oh, and I used, I am doing Enchanted Stitching Challenges this month. It is National Treasure. I love that movie. And I used Celebrate Christmas for one of the tasks. So I did just over 250 stitches in that one. And then the other three I did with my 100 stitch project. So I blew through like, I've only done four days on it. I have not done today's a project on it, but I've already gotten a thousand stitches so far into my hundreds, hundred stitch a day project. I've way surpassed this week. Um, so yeah, I put in um, a little bit more of this vine color. I put in these leaves and then I did the outline, the outline and detailing of the urn. I do have this to fill in. So I'm saving the Santa for last because I am a save the best for last type stitcher. And I'm stitching this in a combination of the called for fancies and some DMC substitutes. It just depends on what it was for. Like I think I kept the red for his coat. There was a Valdani that's part of it. It's Valdani like cinnamon something or another. Let me show you. It's not the Valdani on the on the ball. It's this Valdani. Valdani cotton. Cinnamon swirl. Um, and I just want to try it out. I've heard mixed reviews on that. So we'll, we shall see. And the other project that also lives in the same project bag that was spun this week is a is a favorite. And that is Little House Needleworks Bethlehem. And I put in about close to 300 stitches in this. Um, I stitched the M and this palm tree. And it's going to be big. It doesn't look big from the chart. It's deceptive. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. I am stitching it in mostly the called for. Um, this is Classic Colorworks Blue Corn. This is Classic Colorworks 
roasted chestnut. And this is classic Colorworks camouflage. So that's where I got to. And I like it. And this is on a, mm, did I write down the fabric? See, this was before I was writing down fabric on everything. Oh, an 18 count mystery from Mystic Fabrics. So those were my wheel spins this week, which means I have what I started today and my 100 stitch project. So I think I'm gonna show my 100 stitch project next. And my 100 stitch project that the wheel chose this week, and I actually printed a new picture of this, I just don't know where I put it, is um, Barbara Anna Designs, All Creatures Great and Small. This is available on Creative Poppy. More from Creative Poppy to come in the stash section. This lives in a so much to love bag that I got off of a stash page, like an unloading page. And you will notice I'm not pulling the project from there because this kind of overlaps with stash. This is on an 18 count from a dyer by the name of Oksana. She sells through Stash Unload. I have purchased some 18 count from her, some 28 count Monaco hand dyed. This is gonna be a video of many segments. Um, my FaceTime cut me off because I forgot that I have FaceTime coming through here because Joyfield Little One sometimes has to use my iPad to FaceTime friends because her iPad's always dead. Okay, anyway, so my 100 stitch is on part of my stash, so I'll chat about that. But this is where I got to on my 100 stitch project. So um, I have filled in some of the house, I've done some of the windows, I filled in all of this, finished the outlining of the houses, did this whole flower did most of this flower, some of the flowers down here, the pathway, and then I started outlining this massive green hill. All right, so the stash part of this is I got a lap frame made from PVC piping from Lindy Stitches. She has these in her Etsy shop. Um, and I saw this on somebody's video and I went, ooh, I wanna try one of those. And I know that Garon um, sells Grime Guards for the 11 by 11. Um, it's an R and R or RR, it's, it's a smaller lap stand. I couldn't find that anywhere. And then when somebody was saying, oh, I got this from um, Lindy Stitches, I was like, wait a minute, I think I'd seen that before. So I bought the, it's a 14 by 14. It has Q-snap clips on it. It comes um, with super easy to follow instructions. I mean, literally, it's like just put the pipes together, um, which means you can take it apart for travel or whatever. And my husband goes, okay, I could have made you that. And I was like, yeah, but now you have a template. And so he's going to make me one because he has this pipe, apparently, and a pipe cutter, you know, plumbing, all of that, whatever. He's gonna make me one that's a little bit smaller um, because not all of my projects have massive fabric like that. Now I will say probably Pandemic is gonna live on that one. Um, more on that to come. Is this, oh my gosh, okay. And so I have a cute pillowcase that that's gonna live in um, because I don't know that I'll always take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. So that was part of Stash too. Um, so, this new start comes with a bit of a story. So I, the other day, um, happened upon the fact that Barbara Anna is starting a Christmas sale. Started on July 1st. It's uh, bi-monthly releases on the 1st and the 15th. Um, and they're nine parts. And I moseyed my way over to Creative Poppy and I went, oh, it's so cute. But do I need another project? Do I need another start? And I kind of hemmed and hawed about it. And then the very next day, I had this email pop up in my Joyfield Stitcher email. Um, and it said, you, from Creative Poppy, here's your gift card code for $9.99 from Christina. Christine, sorry, Christine. Chris. She wrote me a sweet little note that she had seen that they were coming out with this sale and hoped I didn't already have it, that she wanted to buy it for me. So she gave me a gift card to buy it. So that was that was the rays of sunshine opening up saying buy the chart and start it. So I did and I started it today. So this is the uh, Barbara Anna Stitch Along and this is part one. 
and it's called Santa's Trips, and you can get it at creativepoppy.com. A um, couple of things. Creative Poppy is out of France. Um, I have found specifically that in the past, um, I have a PayPal account that I have had for many, many years that is set up as a business account. Then I have one for my joy-filled stitcher, and I s set up a different one because I ran into the, a problem with Al Forest embroidery or anywhere that is for sure Russian. Um, they do not. There's some global purchasing something or not that won't let my business PayPal purchase from them. So I created Joyfield Stitchers PayPal that's non-business. And so I can purchase from them. Um, the first time I tried to purchase from Creative Poppy, it kept kicking it back as decline, decline. I was like, why? My bank was flagging it because it was coming from France. So just know that if you have a bank like mine who's like sitting on the precipice of their seat to see and I'm like it's cross stitch clearly I have a track record of cross stitch purchases you haven't flagged any of the other ones anyway so purchase this one and I purchased some others so I will show those in a minute but this is Santa's trips it is released in nine parts it's nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the whole thing um their charts require a password so when you get your chart download when you download them you'll get an email with that password so keep that handy because you need it to they're encrypted um i have figured out a workaround to that once i already have it and i've put in the password i save it as a file to my desktop and then i don't have to re-enter it every time the sal is in a separate part of the website so it will update with a new link each release so the first release includes the bo the border it gives you actually I think the chart for the whole border and where this first block is it is starting top left and then they give you a blown up version in both color and black and white of this release and so I'm super excited about it it's uh, 152 by 152 so not super huge um, it calls for a 32 count dirty linen from Zweigert and it is charted in 10 colors of DMC. So it's a very econo economical project. Um, I can show you maybe on the back. It has this the beautiful like holly leaves and berries all around the edge. Um, so yeah, I got to start on this today. So thank you so much to my floss tube friend has been with me for a while now it figures I think I had zero of the DMC so I pulled some from my stash so um the green I am doing which was 501 I am doing Victoria Motto Taylor shop this is like the skinnish tone which I'm doing Victoria Motto bouquet Victoria Motto precious gold color and cotton lava stone which is like 3371 I had no 3371 What's wrong with me? Um, mint julep from Color and Cotton. This is from the Harvest Mystery Box. I believe it's called Frankenstein. Um, so that's the green. And then I think it called for 3801 and I pulled Poppy, which is a little less orange, but I love it still the same. And then I pulled Mrs. Claus Red from Victoria Motto. Vanilla from Victoria Motto, because I had no 3865 either. No, maybe it was 712. I think it was 712 that I didn't have any of. No, I didn't have any 712. So vanilla. And then honey pot, which is also Victorian motto. So that is the palette. It's beautiful, vibrant, but but like you can tell there's not gonna be minuscule color changes, which I love. And I love everything about Barbara Anna. I am stitching this on 18 count B Stitch Me in coffee club which was fabric of the month may and i have a start on the cute little leaves i think it's going to be super cute um so we'll see if i keep up with it i mean betting odds say i won't <laughs> um we shall see all right so 
we're going to talk plans. But first things first, I'm going to pause you one more time. Create yet another segment to have to edit so I can go grab my other two things of stash. So I will be right back. All right, segment number 472 of this video is going to be chatting about plans. up my tiny decision wheel. Let's see what my 100 stitch project is going to be for next week. I do, I pick a project that is an existing width, non-holiday themed, that I work on um, throughout the week, Monday through Friday, and try to get 100 stitches at least each day. I've been way exceeding that number most days. Um, and I actually was really happy to be able to put that project in for three of the prompts this week for Enchanted Stitching Challenges. So maybe that will be extra incentive to get extra in those whips. So let's see what the wheel chooses. If it is a holiday themed, I'll skip over it. If it's something that I'm like, nope, I veto. I veto my wheel sometimes. So let's see what it's going to choose this time. What you going to choose? Liberty Mouse. You know what? That's pretty close to a finish. Um, I'm going to spin that one. I'm going to spin one more just in case I finish that one because it does not have much left. That's a Barbara Anna. So Liberty Mouse. M Mary Hollyberry's already got work done. Present Blessings. Okay, I'll work on that. That's a hands-on design. That was a mania start. So we've got Liberty Mouse and Present Blessings. Now, I figured it might be fun. To see if with you present, the wheel was a little more um, thoughtful about its choices. Um, and I'll go ahead and spin for uh, Saturday and Sunday's projects. So let's look and see for Saturday if we're going to do a whip or a new start. A whip. So we're going to go to our whip wheel. So Saturday, I'm going to work on... Prince of Peace. That's a good one. I'm excited about that. Okay, so now let's for Sunday look and see if we're going to do a whip or a new start. A whip. She said whip. All right, let's see what's it going to be for Sunday. Twelve Days of Christmas. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so that's Satsuma Street's Twelve Days of Christmas. So, um, one other just, so that's for hashtag Jolly Joy Filled Whip You Lie. Um, and I have decided I am going to start Pandemic on August 1st. That is Long Dog Samplers. I got my fabric, so I'm going to show you my fabric. Here in just a minute with Stash. So I think that's where we are now, is with Stash. Are we ready? Are we ready, 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 ready? Okay. And I've got stuff beyond what's in this. It's joy filled stashy stash time. It's joy filled stashy stash time. And we're going to start with some stitching adjacent. <sighs> Since I've purchased from Diamond Art Club, they like to send me emails. Namely, they love to send me the emails about what's coming this week on Saturday and let's look at all the new releases. And I try to avoid them. I could not avoid this one. This one got purchased. And it came yesterday, and I opened it up, and Joyful Little One and I have decided that I'm going to start this on Black Friday. And this will be a diamond painting that I'm going to work on throughout the, the lead up to Christmas and then the 12 days of Christmas afterwards. It will not get finished in that time, I don't believe, because this is a little bit larger than Joybird. But it is beautiful. So this is a round diamond cut, and I'm going to actually pull the artwork out from inside because it's a little bit bigger of a picture. They they send you a key that's a sticker, that's on sticker paper with, um, and I take these and cut these out and put them on my um, containers, um, but it has a larger image. So this is by um, Hannah Disney. So she's familiar name to cross stitch. She also license her, licenses some of her art to Diamond Art Club. And this is A Savior is Born. And it's around with, I think it's got two of the AB diamonds, the real super sparkly diamonds. 
and they're white and a light blue and it's in like her halo and in the sky and in the star. I love it. Oh my gosh. I adore. I'm so excited. It's going to be huge. It's going to be fun though. I'm excited about it. So that was not stitchy-ish related, but I just wanted to share because I know some of y'all are multi craftual and so you might enjoy seeing that. Now, the other multi-crafting thing is I have mentioned before that Allison Rosen is a crafty girl. She's on Instagram, has a D stash, and I had purchased some things from her, and she just kept showing stuff. So this is all fabric. So I'm going to real quick run through it because I've got some that I thought would be good for finishing fabrics. I got some that I thought would be good for project bags. And I got some that I might make into like a quilted table runner or something like that. So I got this bundle of quilting cottons that I thought would be great for finishing. So they're checks. There's an orange even. So I got those. I got this beautiful floral that could be for a table runner or a um, project bag. I got these fabrics. Oh, loud. I'm sorry. It's super crinkly. I should have been more prepared. That came as a bundle. So they kind of all somewhat coordinate, but real pretty cottons. I think she still has stuff, and I know she slashed her prices because she wants it all gone. I got a pretty large cut of this pink stripe. This is another bundle of fat quarters-ish sizes, so it's got some more of those fun cutesy pinks and yellows and greens, kind of a theme going here. And then this thing has, um, these are some really fun that all come from the same line. As you can see, I'm not good at showing fabrics. Like, look, beautiful fabrics. That could be something fun. This is for sure going to be a project bag. This is gorgeous. That'd be a great for a fall stitch. And these two, I literally hopped on like so fast. I was like, dude, I got to have them. And it was like a steal. It is quilter's cotton that looks like cross stitch. Yes, I said that correct. It looks like cross stitch. So this is going to be a project bag. And. That's going to be a project bag. Yes, indeedy. I was so excited. So excited. And now I've got more fabrics to add to my stash. And to maybe do some projects out of. Project bags, project things, appliques, finishing. I know that I was watching Erin Two Martini Stitcher's video from like, I'm still behind. Um, and she was showing she got, I think, some velvets and some felts and some other stuff. She had some, a whole variety of stuff. I got the Victoria Mottos from her. I got some other fabrics. Like I said, she's on Instagram. Um, I think it's Allison Rosen underscore D stash. But again, I will link it below. So I did get my um, nest egg, my three owl threads nest egg. It is a monthly buy-in club. Um, I have been getting... Uh, gentle Arts, 10 skeins of Gentle Arts, 10 skeins of Classic Color Works, and 10 skeins of Week Style Works. And I have requested a pause on my Week Style Works because um, I just have. I find I'm not reaching for them as much when I'm converting. Um, and so I'm just going to take a pause on that for a little bit. So my Gentle Arts, I got Forest Glade and Gray Barber, Flax and Garden Gate. Geranium and Fragrant Cloves. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with Fragrant Cloves. Ginger Snap and Freedom. Ginger Snap's in lots of charts. Um, or Gingerbread is. No, that's a different one. Never mind. Oh, Glass Slipper, which is a new one, and Gold Leaf. So those were my Gentle Arts. My Week Style Works. And these are always packaged so nicely. They come super quick and it's a great price. So I would recommend you check her out. Um, and I will link her Facebook group where you can fill out the Google form for it. She carries all these. I think she has Dinky Dice, Krynik, a Gentle Art Wool. Um, there's a lot. There's some silk other than Dinky Dice, I think maybe. Okay, so weeks I got turquoise and Turkish red. 
Tobacco Road and Tin Roof, and Tobacco Road is really beautifully variegated. Tiger's Eye and Terrapin, pretty. Terracotta and Teal Frost, those two look really pretty together. And Straw and Swiss Chocolate. So we finished out the S's and now we are into the T's. And then lastly, Classic Colorworks. And we are kind of in the C's with Classic Color Works. We've got Candied Yams and Bella Rosa. So there's a B in there. Carrie Berry and Brown Hen. Caramel and Boysenberry Jam. Boysenberry Jam's pretty. Cappuccino and Candy Corn. I love the variegation in Cappuccino. Bambino and Chai. And Bambino is definitely more variegated than what I'm used to seeing from Classic Color Works. It's kind of like got pink, peach, and purple, like lilac purple. So always pleased to get those and add those to my... <sighs> this is going to be for the record books. I think this is the most pauses and interruptions I've ever had in a video. Anywho. We're a roll with it. Um, I participated not last week, but the Friday before in um, Friday Night Fight Night with Brandy B. Stitch Me. There is one tonight at nine o'clock my time, Central Standard Time. I'm going to try to refrain. I don't know. And these are crinkly, but I want to pull them out and show you because these colors are insane. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on this, but I couldn't pass it up. It's a 36 count linen in buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Buttered. And it's like amazing yellow. Amazing yellow. So I got that one. And then this one, Joy Filled Little One, has already claimed, but that's okay because I purchased it with her in mind. And again, I'm sorry for the crinkles. And this is a 16 count opalescent Ada. Wait for it. So it's pink. Yeah. It's pastel rainbow sparkly fabric. If that is not screaming for something Joyful Little One themed, I don't know what would. So, of course, that's going to be for her to stitch on. And then I want another giveaway. She does giveaways, and I mean, they're succeedingly generous, like charts and fabrics. And I mean, there's like 20 of them a week. And I won this one, which is Be a Pineapple by Hands on Design, which I think is so cute. I don't know when I'll stitch it, but it's adorable. And yeah, I love the, the little fob or whatever it is that says, work that crown, work that crown. And the drum is cute. There's like so many options with this. So cute. That will get stitched at some point. I love flamingos. My mom loves flamingos. And also what arrived with that was my custom cut that I got from her. So I reached out to her. Um, she does custom, where'd that go? She will do um, a custom order for you. Um, and I reached out to her because I knew I wanted to do Pandemic on Outback Jack. And I wanted to do it on the 18 count Ada. But on that, I think I needed something like a 25 by 28 inch piece with the three inch borders. Well, that didn't align with, I would have had to buy like a full yard, I think, in order to get like the width, the right one. And then it would have been super long. So I reached out and I said, can you do a piece of Outback Jack with these parameters, 18 count Ada? If not, I will figure it out. She said, no, I totally can. So um, she invoiced me and I just got it. And this thing is massive. Oh my gosh, this thing won't even all fit in the screen. So, Outback Jack is here for Pandemic, August 1st start. Um, and I will be putting it on that hoop and I will be stitching it in Color and Cotton Typewriter and Sapphire. And this is a beautiful piece of fabric and I love it. And I'm so excited about that one. So then I ordered um, some, I needed some DMCs, did not want to go to the store for them, or I think I went to the store and they were out because it was a mess. Need a DMC, 
when I order DMC, I go to Fire Poppies and they could not travel alone. They had some great fabrics, so I ordered some. I got some 32 count Lugana in Vintage Country Mocha. I got um, 32 count white Lugana. I have um, a project I think that I was gonna use this for. Um, and then I got, let me put these back real quick. These I believe are both seraphims. They um, carry a lot of great seraphim fabrics. This is Bump in the Night 28 Count Lugana, which is really pretty. And then I got Old Stationery Lugana. This is seraphim in 28 count. So it's really pretty too. And these are just the eighths. Um, I think the Lugana is an eighth and then I think the white, I got a fat quarter. And that's for something I will have to figure out what it was for. Does anybody else have that problem? You order something, you're like, oh, I'm going to order this for this project, and then you don't write it down and you don't remember what it was for. Same with these. I'm not sure what they go with. Front row. Um, so then, my I am part of the uh, Dying to Stitch Club, the Berry, the All About Berries Club. And I got the next installment, and this one is Expect Less, a Quaker Wisdom Berry. And it is adorable. It has a little sheet. It's so cute. Um, I have not stitched the other one, but this one will be stitched at some point. Comes with the linen, comes with the flosses, called for flosses, and the finishing felts or wools. Um, and the pins. I believe there's pins to finish this. So, yeah. That will be on my plate at some point. So I actually did have my, I was going to show you, this was my instruction sheet for my um, lap stand from Lindy Stitches, and that didn't travel by itself. I got Mary Mary Needleworker because I have seen so many people showing this chart, and I need it. Because truly, hand-dyed fabrics, floss, and pins, scissors lined up in a row. Yes. Everything about this, yes. Those shoes... Yes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to stitch it on the, the daytime or the nighttime because the nighttime is pretty cool too. Or a combination of kind of the two. We'll see. Um, I was watching Stitching Nani or Noni and she had mentioned about a series of Shepherd's Bush patterns um, that were 2,000 years ago. They're little ornaments. Um, I guess they might have been in a magazine at some point, um, but I went looking for them um, because they are a series of now eight. So there's um, 2,000 years ago, the angels sang, Shepherds Watch, Wise Men Came. This picture does not do them justice. And then the second part is in a stable. And it says, in a stable, Bethlehem slept, Mary and Joseph, their sweet baby kept. That's not in the right order, I don't think. But then they've got... So there's eight of them, and I think she's doing hers in one long bell pull, and I loved that idea. I found them on Silver Needle. Um, and so Silver Needle, I'll link them below. They carry lots of things, and I found these there. And um, so I got those two charts, and then they sent me a freebie, a Cricut Collection freebie. So I thought that was really nice. Now... Um, a couple of weeks back, I was contacted by mybobbin.com. Um, they typically have both PDF charts and kits. They're really pushing during this time the convenience of their PDF charts. And they reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in um, getting a couple of their, their PDF charts and kind of giving a, a review of them. So I went through, they have like 2,700 cross stitch charts of all different types. Um, they do have kits. I did not spend much time looking at the kits, but I know from others that I have watched that have received their kits that they are well put together. They usually have very nice fabrics. So I purchased three charts. Um, I'm, I have not stitched anything on any of these, but I will say they are incredibly detailed. All of these have a similar style in that they've got stitching, like cross stitches. Some of them have half stitches, but they all have back stitch. And one thing that kind of held true throughout all the charts 
is that there's usually a very clearly laid out back stitch chart and it's charted well. Um, a lot of these have both a color and a black and white. Um, I am a I prefer black and white because I highlight in my Good Notes app, but I can work with a color chart. But I prefer black and white. So the ones that I got, um, this is actually a series by designer Olesia Gavrilova, and I butchered that. I know I did, but it's the Cardinal Points. Um, this is West. I chose to just get West because I adore that. Um, I will just be stitching it that way and probably do a hoop finish but I thought it was so cute that pony with the cowgirl hat and stuff this one I adore now I can't remember the name of it but I will link it below I think it's in the garden and I think she is precious she's got like a little kitty cat peeking out behind this one's a little more involved now I will say this blue is all stitched I will likely stitch it on a light blue fabric and then I will just stitch the detailing and the clouds and not the whole blue background, like a hand dyed blue. So it has the appearance of sky. And this is designed by the same designer that I know Jan Hicks has done. She did the mushrooms for her sons. Um, and this is gladiolus. But I just could not get over how beautiful those colors are, how vibrant they are. And it does have a lot of back stitch to kind of make everything pop. Um, but I, I loved it. And so I would recommend their pricing is fantastic. They kind of have a motto of, um, you know, like worldwide, but local pricing. So like their pricing is very reasonable and they're always having sales. I would highly recommend signing up because like almost any day of the week, they've got some designer on sale. So, yeah. So then I mentioned that... <clears throat> Um, about Carolyn Manning. So I bought um, some other Carolyn Manning charts. I bought, and I don't have them all in here. I just realized that. I bought some of the other sh shooting stars. I bought this one because I could not resist these colors. It's just beautiful. Bright, fun, poppy colors. I've actually, the, oh, I wrote it down. This is for the 32 count Lugana. <laughs> White Lugana. I actually wrote it on the back. Um... I also purchased the same pattern in Barn Dance, which is a very kind of like browns and reds and golds and greens and darker blues. Um, and then I purchased another one. I can't remember what it's called. And then I got yo-yos. I don't know when I'm gonna work on any of these, but you know, when you buy one, why not buy a few? So I've already got those in sleeves to go in my binder. And then when I was over at Creative Poppy purchasing the Santa's Trip Sal. I found some other ones. I found this Barbara Anna called Mom and Me. Now all that turquoise is stitched. So my theory is I will stitch this on a turquoise fabric. And not stitch all the turquoise. But do all of the cute other details. So I adored that one. This girl is incredible. This is Forest Queen. Look at her. Look at her. And it's like Forest Queen and Tiny Fox. Tiny Fox. Mommy Fox, Baby Fox. So, love that. They also carry some others besides Barbara Anna. And I have always heard about Gera, Gera, G-E-R-A, apostrophe, charts. And I found two that I wanted from them. So, this is um, Coasters. I specifically was drawn to this very fancifully dressed alligator. And the uh, red panda, maybe? Um, and the owl and the bird. They're just very fancy. Fancy, fancy. And I'm not going to do them as coasters, but. And then look at this one. I could not resist. This actually is a round tin cans. One. Birds. Squirrels. Squirrels. Yes, that is going to be a start in October. And, um, so I've been mulling over the thought process behind No New Starts 2021. There are going to be some more details to come out from that group moving forward just to see kind of what that's going to look like. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I can pin myself down, but I know that I need to not start much more. But right now, I'm in a start all the things. Um, so, yeah, I'm surviving and thriving on the new starts, and I'm enjoying everything. Now, I usually 
kind of have a like, I can't start anything else moment. I thought that would come. Well, June, I didn't start. Well, I started one thing in June. So my thought is when school, I don't know what school's going to look like in August, to be perfectly honest. They're saying in person. We'll see. Um, but I did see a meme the other day and I was like, I sent it to my husband. And I was like, this is truth. Hashtag truth. It said something to the effect of if you're having a Zoom meeting to discuss the reopening of schools, maybe you shouldn't be reopening schools. It's like bingo. Pinned it on the nose. Um, Joyfield little one is with the grandparents tonight. She was super pumped. We went swimming earlier today. She is a wild woman in the pool. She loves it, which is such a blessing to me because when she was little, she hated, she hated the pool. Like she liked to play in the little baby pool, but like she won't put her head under, um, the earplugs literally when she was four and a half and we got the real earplugs made all the difference in the world. And so I'm so happy that we have the good ones now. Um, we did make a trip to the pediatrician this week to look at the ears because I was like, something doesn't look quite right with the otoscope. The, the doctor said it looks like she's just had some water. It looks like her eardrum's a little pruney. I was like, that's gross. Uh, so she just said, let's have some rest from the pool. So we waited until the end of the week um, and, you know, wore the new custom molded earplugs and all of that. Counselor's going fantastic. I did have to skip my appointment this week, um, but that was already planned. I will um, be going on Tuesdays. And um, yeah, that's about it. We're not we're not really going anywhere right now. Um, the other day we went, we had to go sign some paperwork. So we went to the UPS store because they had a notary and it required a notary. And we did go into the Mardell's, which is our Christian bookstore, and um, we got a few things for her teacher for back to school, and I got, um, she got a prayer journal, and I got a couple of little, like, devotional type books and things, and um, I did go into a Hobby Lobby, but there was literally nobody in there. It was kind of nice. I've never been in a Hobby Lobby where I could actually walk up and check out and not wait in a 20 minute line or more. Um, got some fabrics, a few fabrics, um, hoping to turn those into either project bags or part of a quilt soon. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've really kind of been hunkered down at home. I've gotten in, I got a bunch of stitching in this week. My goal is to get some more on Joybird um, diamond painting because I really wanna start Dahlia and um, get that one done in advance of starting Savior is Born. And Dahlia is larger, but it's got some big blocks of colors, so I think it'll be okay. And Joy the Little One said she would like to help me with that. Of course she would. And that's a square. I have heard that rounds go faster. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I will say the square, if you're a perfectionist, I'm kind of a bit of a perfectionist. Squares test me. Because it like has to, I don't want them to be even the least bit crooked. So anyway, that's my newbie, newbie-ish on the um, diamond painting. So I really don't have much else to chat with you about. I apologize. I don't know why I'm apologizing. But this was a video of clips. This one of those nights. That happens when Joyfield Little One is not here. When she's here. She's giggling and kicking the tripod and things like that. So it's a, it's a fruit basket turnover no matter what the situation is. That's having an eight-year-old. Um, and I love every minute of it. Not going to lie. But that being said, this was a little more chaotic, a little more frantic, a little more like, hey, ooh, I forgot this. Sometimes it's like that. It's the middle of July. It's a 1,000 degrees outside. My Victorian motto package is, la is lost, I think. And that just makes me devastated. I'm hoping. Shows pre-shipment since the 30th. <laughs> I just want my blouses and my fabric. Anywho, I would like to share with you a Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness card for today. And I thought this one is very beautiful. I love the red and all of the beautiful designs on this. Kind of looks like a mixed media. And it says, let the angels boundless love help you let go of negative thoughts and feelings. And there has been so much negative in our world within the last six months. 
that for me, I need to remember to rest with the one that I know and the one that guides my heart and guides my life. Um, and I know that that's not for everybody. And um, so, but that is who I am. And I share that with you. And many of you share the same thoughts and thoughts and feelings about your faith. Um, and because I am somebody who kind of puts it all out, puts most everything out there, I do share that. So I really hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. That um, wherever you are and whatever stage of opening up you're in or whatever stage of life 2020 is in, um, that you have a great week. Um, that you get some stitching in if that's what's calling to you or whatever is calling to you, whatever brings you joy and peace and calm. We all need some peace and calm. Um, I'm looking at August 3rd being back at teacher stuff. So I f anticipate that stitching will decrease at that point. Summer, I always ramp up the stitching and then August kind of feels a little like the well has run dry. Um, but then I get in my groove and I figure out my stitching at night to be in bed, to be up in the mornings and things like that. Um, so with that being said, I will wish you a wonderful week ahead and I will say, so long, stitch well, I'll see you soon my friends, goodbye. Goodbye and see you next Friday.